Well, the, the main inspiration uh, for the turbine was uh, I was introduced to a gentleman by the name of Tom Carbone, uh, who is a Cornell uh, graduate and uh, has spent 30 years in the wind industry. He implements large wind technology. Uh, he actually had the vision of trying to build small wind technology that would come into the urban environment. And Tom approached me and had said, listen, you've got a mechanical background. We need something that's going to be structural and strong. First of all, we needed to come up with a blade design. Um, you know, in reality, you can cut a barrel in half and put it in the wind and it will rotate. But creating something that has dynamics and uh, actually creates uh, smooth motion through the wind uh, with our blade design, and we actually create a lift on it because it has a wing foil, an air lift design in it. So that was the first critical thing. Once we established that, it was how do we get greater performance? The deflector became the next option is that it allowed us to take away the opposing forces on the back side of the blade, which allows the turbine to turn much, much freely and in much, much lower wind speeds. So once that was implemented, it, it just made a common sense, uh, uh, not only design, but aerodynamically to mirror over the blades to the other side to create the dual axis where now we've got forces on both sides. And that opened up a whole new set of options to us as that developed. Um, again, it's, it's, it's the self-alignment into the wind. Having the dual blades on both sides is like a force that continues to steer into the wind to keep the performance at maximum option.